up, Will World Thrift, hitting that Salvation Army. We'll sit here this Tuesday. Um, white tag special. We'll see what we get. Gonna try to be pretty quick in here today. Got a couple carts out in the brick rack section. The bod rope. No price on it. Check it out. Those are roll up. shoes they had all these cleats in here for a while Some big red hyper something something Ooh. crazy I'm gonna look these up 14. Coffee mug, take a look at. Don't see anything in there. Okay. Not seeing much in mugs. Beretta USA. Billabong hat looks kind of faded. What's this? I don't know how much these socks go for. Yeah, that's a good pair of shoes, but there's no sole in them. Um, no price on them. It might be good to just pick up anyway and grab a pair of insoles. $7.99. I'm going to throw them in my cart to see if I can haggle. Merrill. $7.99. I'll check these out. Um, Walmart boots. Doggers. I never heard of these. Look kind of worn on the bottom. It. Moving over to clothes. This is their like bouquet. What they think is bouquet. This is usually junk, but sometimes they throw some of their other Brooks Brothers. Sometimes they'll throw their Tommy Bahamas in here. I've been doing pretty good on Tommy Bahamas of late. Move over here to the rack that I always check. Colorful shirt. See a Nike golf shirt. Have to check it for defects, but it'll probably be a snag. Now let's go rip through this rack. Gander Mountain. With the logo, $5.99. I'm gonna pass on that. Join in. 
I haven't been looked through these shirts in a while. I hear uh, polo is popular on Marketplace. That's something that I typically avoid. There's an old Tommy Hilfiger. I think it has a stain. I looked at it before. Yeah, it's got a stain. So if I see a couple of polos, I'll try them out on Marketplace. Then Payson. Oh. Polka Classic. What's going on? Always want to have the labels facing you so you can just push them away. Don't want to look at the row backwards and then it just spend more time. Oh, let me look, check that out. Beagle Boy. Doc and Amelia. Haven't had any luck with that. Not a bad looking shirt though. Munsing wear. Come on, let's go. Can't find nothing. Caribbean Joe. Columbia. And the silk. Making jacks. Nothing, nothing. Shirt's looking a little thin. Might have already been hit up. Let's hang through to the last because you never know. Sometimes in the black I can find some good stuff. There's a nice Periella shirt. Tommy Bahama, nice orange, or orange, green with limes. Tag looks kind of funky on it. Can I tell what size it is? I've been moving with some hobby Tommy Bahama stuff, so I like the pattern on the shirt. I'll go ahead and take it. Mirror denim, garbage. I'll have to check that Tommy Bahama for stains. I'm not gonna bring something home with a stain on it. That's all for here. Let's go around in another section. Here's long sleeve stuff. I'm not gonna look for. I'll look that shirt up. I never heard of that brand. Mm -hmm. Usually just look for flannels and denims. Here's some denims. Uh, nothing. Nothing. See no flannels. When I got more time, I will look through these better, but I don't have a lot of time today. So, outdoor exchange. That looks pretty old. Probably look that up too. Not familiar with it, but it looks cool. Dropping my clothes down on the floor. Throw them in a rack. Let's see, you get through these real quick. Can't find any, there's another Tommy Bahama. I'm not gonna mess with that one. There's an old school Tommy Hilfiger jean denim uh, with the logo. I kind of like this one. The red on it looks okay. I don't see any stains. I'm gonna take a gamble on it. The Columbia. Come on, look, they're trying to gem me up. And here's a Tommy Bahama. Columbia. Slowing down on Columbia. I'm not picking any more up. I 
that's it for that long sleeve section Let's see uh, look through it real quick this is where i get sweaters from by the way this store is where i probably get 75 percent of my items i go to a couple other stores regularly but this is where i get most and uh not really seeing nothing in this sweater it's real thin it's getting hot bring over here shorts uh look at these real quick swim trunks is what i look for they've been bare for a while and I don't see anything in here right now I'll glance at these shorts real quick some real legends fishing shorts $3.99 is very cheap i'm not going to mess with them though sweatpants usually you can find some good ones and one of the things i don't I'll leave the store without looking at his pajamas. I was just looking for polo, Ralph Lauren. Pajamas, I don't see none. Some more sweaters. Clearwater Beach, kick back and relax. Heathered. Canes, comfy. Yeah, oh, it's got pilling on it. I'm not gonna get it. Some Nike Athletic Department. Track pants, five ninety nine. Kind of, they're small, so I'm not gonna mess with them. These are tennis shirts. I usually don't, I don't have the time definitely to spend today looking at these. This section does have the dry fit, so um, I will look through it real quick. It's just a small part of it. And not seeing anything, so Reebok running this shirt with a tag. Junk on the shirts, there's belts. Pretty cool looking belt. I'm gonna grab this belt. leather deals bring over here to jackets real quick nothing there suits shirts not gonna look at Back over here to pants, shirts that I've already looked at, long sleeve. I don't have a lot of time, so I might be leaving some meat on the bone. There's a nice long Columbia shirt, medium, but I've cut down on it. I'm sticking to my guns, cutting down on it. Maybe next month it'll heat up again. Here's some jeans, some Tommies, some old Levi's, relaxed fit. RL. Polo Ralph Lauren, $7.99, kind of steep. Um, I think I'll grab them, see if I can haggle up the register. Maybe I can get them half off. If I can't get them half off, I won't get them. Uh, I'm not gonna look through here. I do have one more side I gotta scan real quick uh, athletic shirts can go pretty quick it's got to jump out at me oh nothing good not the kind of polos I want to find so I'm gonna pass There's a nice polo. That's an original one probably that I will mess with, so. Uh -huh. Custom fit, large, I'll snag it. That's got, you know, print on the front. It's not one you find every day. 
try to stay away from the basic color one. There's an old hill figure shirt, $7.99 though. There, want too much for that. And uh, the embroidery on it looks a little shriveled up, so I'll leave it. All right, just one more side of polo. There's some ties. Um, I don't do much ties, I don't even look through them most of the time. I have sold some like Grateful Dead ties. There's a pretty, uh, I think that's Oregon Ducks, Nike Dry Fit. Um, I'll snag it. Let's see if I can uh, barter on the price. There's a nice blue polo, large. Don't deal solids. Unless it's something special. Performance or something like that. Orange Nike Dry Fit. Can't see the size, I'm not gonna buy it. So that's, that's all, I'm gonna throw this in here. All right guys, I'm in the line. I've looked over everything I got and it's all checking out, nothing will defect. So um, what you see me put in the card is what I'm gonna get. We'll see you back at the house. Hello guys, Will World Thrift. Just a quick re recap of my trip to the store today. I didn't have a lot of time to spend in there. What you see is what you get on this video. I was there for maybe 15 minutes and I picked up some really good things. Might have missed some things, I don't know, but you know, time was real short for me, so I tried to get, get in and get out. So uh, let's go through with what I got. Um, uh, not in any order, but on top right now, this belt, leather belt, I picked up. I'm not sure how much I can get for it. I'm not even sure. I believe it's a woman's, judging by that belt buckle on it. But it is uh, full grain cowhide made in Texas, USA. Got a nice stamp on there. I'll have to look it up. And uh, also, I, I just picked this up in the cart when I first went. It's a bod rope. It's a cordless jump rope um, by Beachbody. These things go for like $30. Um, but anywhere in the range of $15 to $30. I'll set mine high because I got instructions with it. Um, but you can look them up yourself, uh, bod rope. I did have these shoes over here, which I'll talk about in a minute. Got the Beretta cap. Um, so I had the Sig Sauer cap a couple weeks ago. Today is Beretta day. So I picked up this Beretta hat made in USA. We'll see how much that goes. I probably won't taste it less than 25 or 30. There's not many, there's not, I couldn't find another one this style on there. So, and it seems pretty new. I'll go ahead and put it on. Jeans, I just grabbed these RL Polo Ralph Lawrence men's jeans, $7.99. I thought the price was a little high. Um, I did get up to the register and haggle. Um, so my haggling paid off. Uh, the total sticker prices on these items are $85. I got out of there for $60. So. Not quite half off, he gave me 25% off, but I like to go in on Tuesdays because Wednesdays half off closed days. And I guarantee if I would have went in on uh, tomorrow as opposed to today, I would have not got any of this stuff. So I paid up a little bit for my items today, but I guarantee if I go in there tomorrow, it's gonna be junk by the time I get there. And these maybe I'll get about $25 out of. So um, quickly through the shirts, Nike Dry Fit. Golf shirt, you usually can get anywhere from $20 to $25. This is nice. Golf shirt, it's got the Nike swoosh on the shoulder. It's got a nice texture to it. Um, I've been selling some Nike uh, golf shirts uh, throughout the winter still, so um, they're pretty good. They don't last that long. This I picked up, I wanna try some uh, polo stuff on Marketplace, so I picked up this polo 2nd Battalion 10th Regiment shirt. It is a size large, orange and green stripes with a big old patch on the back. Usually when you find polo shirts with big patches or, you know, lettering on the front and the polo rugby style, they go for pretty good. So, um, the tag on this one was $5.99. I'm hoping somewhere in the neighborhood of $25 to $30 for it. Moving on with the Tiny Bahama. The lime. Earlier I said it was orange. I don't know what I was thinking. I am colorblind though. Um, but it's lime, it's got little limes on there, it's got uh, cocktail glasses and uh, pineapples. Dogs are barking at each other. Dogs are going ape because I decided to make a video. 
And got the Oregon Ducks Nike Dry Fit shirt. You can see I found a very light stain on there. I hit it with a Tide pin. I don't know if it's going to come out, but it's very hard to see. Um, very small. Uh, I didn't notice it in the store. I probably will still sell it with the very light stain unless the Tide pin brings it out. Um, but I still can make money off that shirt. Here's the vintage uh, outdoor exchange shirt, uh, flannel shirt that I found. It's got a Made in USA tag on there, very faded, but it does say Made in USA on the bottom. It's a size large. First time I bought this brand, um, they do sell pretty good. So I expect somewhere in the neighborhood of $25 to $30 for this. And it's, it's not bad, not in bad condition. Another item that I haven't been familiar with is the Sims. Um, I just grabbed it because I noticed the fish on the on the um, pocket there, and I looked it up, and they comp pretty good. Again, probably around the twenty dollar range. So, first time running in that shirt, and I'll be on the lookout for more. And then on the wall, I got the Tommy Hilfiger denim with red. I believe the kids call this a color block. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, there's only one on eBay listed right now. I think it's at $20 or something like this. Um, this Tommy, I usually don't pick up vintage Tommy Hilfiger stuff because it just doesn't sell for me, probably because of where I'm listing, only on eBay. But now that I started to branch out to Facebook Marketplace, maybe there'll be buyers over there. I also do uh, flirt a little with Mercury, only when they throw out special promotions like list 15 items for $50 off your next purchase or something. I'll bang out some listings on there. But typically, uh, I don't post on there, but this might go on there also. Then I picked up these three th three pair of shoes. Um, definitely got to clean these white uh, Adidas crazy shoes. Uh, they're from 2017. Um, they're, they're, I might have these in a video before and after. Um, they're pretty off-color white right now, but I'm going to hit them up and clean them. Um, we'll see what I can get. Maybe uh, somewhere in the neighborhood, uh, 40 to 60 for them. I got these Sabago Clove Hitch. Uh, these shoes go for $79 to $129, but they don't have soles in them. I'm going to try to get $40 out of mine after I clean them. And I'll probably, uh, I can either go to Walmart and buy some soles to put in there, or I could just sell them without the soles. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm leaning and just selling them without the soles and, uh, known it because there's like brand new full tread on them i mean they're they're nice and these are good shoes too um some of the models of Sabagos aren't uh great sellers but these are like the deck shoes um they are called clove hitch um these are the ones that are more expensive and these uh merrill is a running shoe i guess uh i have never picked a brand of these shoes up i just got them because they look pretty new uh, good tread on the bottom Nothing wrong. I, I did look at some comps on them. Maybe the tongue is peeling a little here. Um, they go for like 25 bucks uh, used. So probably should have stayed off of these, but um, they are my size. So I could probably wear them size 14. So um, I could throw these on and you know do some yard work or something if I have to. Um, there it is, that's my haul though. Thanks for uh, checking out the thrift store with me. Hopefully next time I can get to spend more time in this store. Um, but I think we did all right, you know, put a comment in, in, the, in the down there if you see anything that I miss or if you see anything that uh, you like on here and I'll catch you next time. See ya.